warn our viewers that what you will see, nonetheless, is terribly disturbing. An edited version of surveillance video released today by the Austin American Statesman shows that at 11.32 on May 24th, the first shots were fired outside Robb Elementary School. An audio of a teacher calling 911. Then at 11.33, school surveillance video shows the gunman entering an empty hallway, unhindered, walking casually with his gun hanging down. He slows down, peeks around a corner. A boy sees him as he starts shooting, and the boy runs. According to the statesman, the gunman fired his weapon, an AR-15, inside two classrooms for two and a half minutes, stopping and starting multiple times. The statesman saying they edited out the most disturbing sounds, including screams. The surveillance video that lawmakers, Texas DPS, and even the Uvalde mayor have been pushing to release shows seven police officers arriving, armed, some with rifles. They entered the hallway, weapons drawn at 1136, just three minutes after the gunman arrived while shots are being fired. In total, the material revealing just over two of the more than 70 minutes police were in the hallway before killing the gunman, some rushing towards the classrooms, other officers hanging back. Within one minute, shots are heard, 16 rounds in total, and police can be seen retreating, running back down the hallway to take cover. One officer appears to touch his ear. Then at 11.52, 19 minutes after the gunman enters the school, the timestamp on the video shows more officers arriving, heavily armed, some with ballistic shields. Still, they wait. At 12.04, the video jumps 31 minutes after the gunman enters the school, and law enforcement is still waiting. At least 19 officers are now in the hallway according to the official timeline. At this point, a girl in one of the adjoining classrooms calls 911, sharing her location, pleading for help, and calls back minutes later saying multiple people are dead. At 12.15, a tactical team arrives, and a minute later, a 911 call saying eight or nine students are still alive. At 12.21, 45 minutes after police arrived, the gunman fires another four shots, and police start to move down the hallway again, remaining outside the classrooms. At 12.30, one officer uses the hand sanitizer dispenser in the school. At 12.43 and 12.47, more 911 calls to send police, and the caller says children are aware the police are outside the door. Then at 12.50, 74 minutes after police first arrived, officers breach the classroom door and kill the gunman. At this point, the video shows officers in the hallway pushing to go in. The video account now adding to the toll the families of the 19 students and two teachers who were massacred at Robb Elementary have to endure. The families of the victims are outraged by the release of this video to the Austin American statesman. In their words, they say that the final moments of their loved ones were shared with the world before they got to see them. These families were preparing themselves emotionally to watch the entire 77 minutes with the Texas House Investigative Committee on Sunday, which is when they were expected to view the entire video. Uh, Aaron, I should mention that the Austin American Statesman defending their release of the video stating on their website, quote, we have to bear witness to history and transparency and relenting reporting is a way to bring change.